welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be setting up my A5 binders for Jimin and JK's Japan and DVD collection as well as some other like miscellaneous cards that they have. I want to show this cute little binder. Um, it's BT21 and it's Jimmy's but I put Jin in here because I did downsize my Jin collection and He's in here now. I ended up keeping a lot more of Jin's stuff than I had originally intended to. So I have a good chunk of his cards in here, but obviously there aren't a lot of sleeves in here. So not all of his cards live in this. Um, but I do have one of his bigger PCs right here because it doesn't fit in these. And I thought it was so cute. It's like, it's so cute. <laughs> and then I put a mini PC as the cover. For the rest of my Jin cards, they actually are in this The Icon binder because I didn't want to waste the binder since it's a really nice A5 size binder. And I put just a few of his cards in here. So for now, I'm just going to put these in here and then over time I might put more cards in here. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but these are just cards I don't want to get rid of right now. These two could possibly be up for trade. I'm not really sure yet, but the rest of them are just staying in here, and I might end up moving all of his cards from here into here, but I haven't fully decided on that yet. But this binder is so cute. It's just sometimes I worry about them being in here, so I might move at least maybe his DVD cards. I might move them in here. But yes, I do have the D icon binder in use for some cards, but there's so many pages and I don't want to waste it because it's a perfectly good binder. And then I used the postcard as my front cover, but I turned it around because I really like the signatures. That's where Jin is. I'm going to put Jin back so you have something cute to look at. I originally filmed me taking out the pages and then putting them in this A5 binder, but I ran out of storage so the video got deleted, which really frustrated me because I was actually really proud of that video <laughs> and I talked and explained a lot of what I was doing, but that's gone now. So long story short, I was getting a little stressed with how my Japan collection and my DVD collection were going. And the main reason is because I don't collect fully, so I'm not like a completionist in any way, so I don't have a lot of the cards. And it was kind of making me sad that my Japan and DVD collection were so tiny. Um, they're really not tiny, but to me they felt tiny. And I didn't want them in these big nine pocket sleeves because it made me feel like I needed to keep filling up nine pockets. And that was a struggle I was having because I couldn't fill up the nine pockets as much as I wanted to because obviously DVD and Blu-ray cards have shot up in price. So I've decided to move them into this really cute A5 binder. So I'm sure if you're on YouTube, you are very much aware of the how popular A5s are right now and I totally understand why. I've been using an A5 binder for like about a year now for my multi-collection you might if you've been a viewer of mine for almost a year now i actually used to film me storing in my multi binder and it was this but i did clean it up so it only has two other groups in here it has txt and wjsm the thing about this binder though is i made the sleeves <laughs> so i one day was really bored during lectures because last uh, year during this time my school was online completely so I was home and I was getting really antsy during a lecture, so I started cutting up nine pocket pages into four pocket pages. So if you're ever curious about like doing this yourself, it's very easy. These are just three ring binders, um, but they are A5 size. You just need a nine pocket page and you cut to, you cut this and then you cut here. And then like you have to make sure that you don't cut too much though because you don't want to cut the seam then the card will fall right through so you have to make sure you cut under it and next to and then you keep these two holes and then you're going to have to punch your own holes for I think the middle and like you might have to make this one bigger or something but 
you can DIY your own A5 pages if you don't have the money for A5 binders, A5 pocket pages that are like Beyond D, uh, Amifa, I think. There's like different brands of A5, but if you want to make your own, that's a way you can do it with nine pocket pages. Okay, after talking for six minutes about all of that, let me show you my G-Cook binder. So right now it doesn't have a cover because I'm so indecisive and I have no idea what I want to put here yet, but I do want to make something. For this one I have Subin's like postcard slash mini poster and it works perfectly for this. I had to cut it a little bit, but like it was perfect. I actually have a B photo of June on the back because I love this photo so much, but I haven't figured out what I want to do on the cover. <laughs> I will take you through this. <laughs> First, I have, like I said, I want to make cover pages. I just don't have a G Cook picture yet, which is so funny because like they have so many pictures, but I'm so there's just so many cute pictures and I don't know which ones to do. So I haven't figured out what I want to do for their, like, this page yet. But I do have their own individual pages. We'll get there. So first I start with Japanese because I have group cards. Then we have their little Japan section. So I have I Need You, Run, and Youth. And then Lights and Not the Soldiering. Because these are regular 9 pocket size Ultra Pro, you can use, um dragon shield sleeves like normal size and they'll fit right in just like you would if this was a nine pocket page um you can see that they are a little small because that was just the way it was gonna fit as in this binder so it is a little bit smaller than the binder but I haven't had any issues with this like I said I've been using one for a year and I haven't had any issues with cards so I say it's still a nice alternative if you don't want to buy um like the beyond d brands or amifa or anything like that but i love those binders so i'm not saying you shouldn't because i think they're really cute i just didn't have the money at the time and now i have all these extra pages that i cut so i want to use them so for obviously like i said my japan section is very tiny and it's probably not going to grow um maybe moving forward if they do selfie pcs again like this, I will collect them. If not, I'm not going to. Like, I didn't collect BTS the best. I have some Samsung cards. And then here is where I'm going to put these because they're not album related. So they're just going to go in here. And then when I get the Hybe Insight ones, I'll put them here. The Hybe Insight selfies. I have Jimin's on the way. I don't have JK's. JK's is giving me a lot of trouble. But then here is where I'm going to put Winter Package. Because it's package. They're not really DVD or Blu-ray. So they're going to go in here. And then in here I'm going to put the Deco Package. Because those are double-sided. I bought two. I'm really hoping I pull G-Cook for their special cards. And the other reason I'm moving these to A5 is because A5 is super easy to move around. So then this way I can take these cards with me like a lot of places and I won't have to lug like a big two inch binder around. I can just, you know, have this little A5 with me and I'll have some of my favorite cards at any time. <laughs> so the reason I'm doing the deco package is because it's double sided and these are double sided. So I thought that would be cute. So now for their single pages, I have Jim in here. I put them in little Sanrio like stickers that I found on Pixar. <laughs> I just made these. Uh, I made them for Subin and that one as well. So here's Subin's and then here's that one. So she has like the My Melody one. You'll notice the two bunny boys have the same one. So here's Jimin's and then here are his DVD Blu-rays. And also by taking out the winter package, I was able to have eight cards to fill these. But like I said, this helps me just not stress so much. So if I do get another DVD card, it'll just be in here. And I'm not going to feel this pressure to fill a nine pocket page. I'll just fill these four pocket pages and take it at a slower pace. Because as I said, DVD and Blu-ray has skyrocketed in prices and I'm also not completing. So I do have a wish list, but it really has been a hard time trying to find some of these cards. 
So here's JK's. This picture is so cute. I'm so excited to get my Permission to Dance merch because this is an actual photo card. So I might change his in the future so it's not like a picture with a photo card. I think I might put one of his PTD selfies that he just posted or um, this picture because I'm obsessed with this picture. It's my Twitter profile picture because I just love it so much. But yeah, so I'm thinking of, I might change this one. But for now, here he is. And then here are his cards. I'm really happy with this decision. I think this is going to be a really good move for me um, personally. I'm really happy that I did this. My binder now is a little thinner, which helps <laughs> too. My like name binder is a little thinner now. I know A5s aren't for everyone, but I do really like how this is looking and it just made me feel better about my collection. Um, little things like this, you know, just kind of keeping my collection fresh and new because I have had my collection for almost three years now. So it's nice to kind of find new ways to make it look different or change things up. Yeah, I think that was everything. So if you have any questions regarding this binder or regarding my collection, please let me know down below. I will try to answer as best as I can. Thank you.